This week, the Supreme Court outlawed abortion. It's as if they said to, to women, we don't care what discomfort you might have, what situation you're in. We control what happens within your body, your womb, and that's it. You get pregnant, you're carrying that child to term. I understand the concerns about life because life is very important. Life is very important to me. Life is very important to all, all of us unless you're some sort of psychopathic evil person. So that's not, that's not the point. But I think people are being manipulated and being ignorant about the whole topic. The whole idea of abortion and life and children is based upon one fundamental, fun, one fundamental human concept. And that's the concept of balance. That means that your life is as important as it impedes upon another life. All of life, all of law, all of society is a balancing act. And that balance is, is you can pursue your life, but you can't hurt mine or detriment mine. It's as if we're having an argument about Siamese twins. I think that's the closest parallel to, to, to being pregnant because another being is attached to you and is attached to you in a way that's biological, attached. And whenever you find Siamese children, Siamese people, the, the, the aim of medical science and of society is to separate them because we believe in the separate existence, the, the life of the individuals to pursue because you really can't live your fullness if you're attached or being burdened by another person. So if we don't want Siamese people to be burdened by their Siamese twin, I don't see how we can have an argument that, that a person needs to have another person grow within them. That's just not how it works. Additionally, if we're so concerned about the life of other beings, then we should outlaw war. Because war is about that balance too. What do I need versus what you have? And we right now will, will, will shoot missiles, ships, and fight and kill other people for oil. Yes, we do. Or we'll shoot and kill other people for a principle, of, like a principle of democracy. We do it all the time. We shoot and, and, and kill people legally because they look suspicious. We have a concept called self-defense. So the life of another has always been in the balance. It's never an absolute. So to, to, to treat women th this way, I think it's a false debate. Now, if we really wanted to protect children, we'd find a means embryos, we'd find a means to have surrogates in place, um, infantile transplantation. We can transplant arms. And, uh, I think they're working on brains now, hearts, organs. It, it can't be that, that difficult to transplant in embryos, but the, the, our technology is towards Bitcoin, towards military, towards all sorts of things, towards Viagra, and not towards women's health. So the whole idea of abortion is a false debate and it's a false debate because it's all about keeping women down. And it, it, it sounds right now in, in white supremacy because of population explosions of non-white people. And they're not concerned about um, black women as much because if we can have constant, constant babies because we don't have the financial resources, we're being burdened and held by financially all across the world. And in fact, if you want to help uh, people of color, you educate women. So if you can keep them from, from resources by making them have babies, you burden that population. But if, but if you can, but because certain powers have, certain groups have resources, if they have babies, they have resources to, to bring them to term and to make them, uh, and, and, and to make them um, viable. So it's a warfare of sorts. It's not about the child, it's about warfare. Another thing is that, if, and we all know this argument, that if they're so concerned about human life, we do much better in everything we do, like childcare and so forth. So this abortion debate, it sounds in white supremacy, it sounds in, in male dominance, it's against women, it's a false debate, because we will separate Siamese. We will go to war and kill for, for resources. So this whole idea of the sanctity of life is a bunch of crap. Thank you.